hello, well, it's Shocking into 1000 with Pony for Duty. Welcome and give back to more Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. In the last episode, we um, didn't exactly, you know, I don't even want to talk about it. Yeah, from what happened in the last episode, I don't really want to talk about it, okay? This time, well, in this episode, I think you can kind of tell what we're going to be doing. We're officially going to be exploring. Uh, this area, starting off with talking to this guy. Oh, you! I am downright bone weary. We're underwater to take a full shipload of Pokemon and turn them into shadow Pokemon. But we'll be done with this job soon. Then I'm going to go and take a long bath and unwind. Okay. Uh, there's a there's supposed to be a battle CD down here, but. Other than that, we get TM24, which contains Thunderbolt. Yes! Oh, I'm sick to death of having to keep missing with Thunder. But the only trouble is... Yeah. Curly, you can learn it. And I think Chilteon, does he learn that move by leveling up? Uh, let's have a look. I don't actually know. I think that I honestly do want to teach Thunderbolt as a backup with Thunder for Jolteon. But I think it's probably better if I teach it to um, Curlier now I think about it. I have to think long and hard about this because it's the only Thunderbolt TM in the entire game. I want to think long and hard about this one. <clears throat> okay. No, Jolteon does not learn Thunderbolt by leveling up. Okay. But, having Curly with Thunderbolt is just as good as Jolteon, really. It's not really a stab move, but I think I can, I think I can fight through Thunder somehow. So, yeah, I'm going to teach Thunderbolt to Curlier. Shockwave is actually a really good move. It's, um, you know what? You know what? We'll give it Reflect. I only use that move in case of emergencies. There you go. <clears throat> but yeah, there's supposed to be a, tier, a, a battle CD to be sat right where we're standing. I don't actually recall what battle CD it is, but... It's the least of all well, worries. I believe there's like multiple paths you can take. The correct one is down this way. So let's go this way. Okay. <clears throat> Greasel. Uh, you're not an important battle. So, mining and beauty ply here. Gee, I wonder how that's going to go down. <coughs> right, let's use our new mover, Thunderbolt. I know it's actually pointless me teaching it. I say, I know it's pointless with me testing it out on beauty ply because beauty ply is just going to get one shot by it anyway. <coughs> right, that charm's going for. Why use charm on Curlier? You know, Curly is a special attacker, right? Wow. Beautiful, I actually survived that. <coughs> Sorry. Crooky throat. <coughs> Alright, let's use Psychic on Mining, and we'll finish off that Beautiful with Shadow Ball. Okay, that's how she did a sensible thing. There we go. <clears throat> this might not one shot mining. Yeah, I thought so. 
But we'll definitely finish off that beauty fly. Oh, somebody leveled up. Ah, dragonfly, nice. Let it in. Really? You're making me deal with that jerk? Oh dear. Just quirky throat at a minute from what happened in the last episode. <clears throat> it's why I don't shout. Right, this would definitely not beat the lead. Okay, I think it's official. My Pokemon are indeed on the level. I think at the end of this episode, I'm going to be training up my Pokemon a lot. But the only situation is. Look how close Curlio is to leveling up. Ah, oh, Ilamize. And yes, that is how you say the name. You don't say it Ilamize, you say it as Ilamize. And she's using a track, I guess it's going to be on Duskull. Yep. And that Giga Drain, who's that going to? That's cool as well. <clears throat> okay. Nicely done there, Duskull. Confused. And attractive, and you fought through both of them. You are awesome. Right, well, you psychic. Hopefully, we can fight through it with helping hand. Yes! Duskull! You are proving to be one to reckon with. Ah. <clears throat> uh, that's not cool. <clears throat> that really is not cool. Alright, bring your houndoom. Right, fire blast on Ilumise, and I want to revive Curlia because I need Curlia to gain those experience points. <clears throat> go. <clears throat> Curlia is now level 30. After how many episodes it's taken me to level her up to that level. And we actually caught it as a level 20 volts. Yeah. Curlia is evolving into my second favorite Pokemon in all Pokemon games. God, if war! One of the most powerful special attacking Pokemon in the game. <clears throat> now you'll understand why I wanted to save the training up till then. Because, <clears throat> God, if war! Look at those stats! <clears throat> 95 special attack compared to George Jones' 79 and Houndoom's 75. Definitely proven that God of War is a force to be reckoned with. Do not by all means mess with my God of War or you'll regret it. Well, I'm going to go this way. 
There is a set of stairs this way, but this isn't the required... Humor! Uh, this actually is an important fight, so I think we are indeed going the right way. <laughs> yep. As far as I'm actually am saying to you this. So God of War's debut match here. I'm going to show you exactly how much power Psychic does now. As a Curlier, he could. As a Curlier, he couldn't one shot Survivor with Psychic. Watch how much he does now. Yeah. Two shots if I put no more. We're now one shotting them. And Paras, one of the worst bug type and grass type Pokemon to ever exist. And it's a shadow Pokemon. <clears throat> I said it once and I'll say it again. This is the worst Pokemon ever to have in your team in here. It can carry either Effect Spore, which is a really good ability, or Dry Skin, which is a very bad ability. Because the reason why, dry skin, it prevents the Pokemon from being, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I'll start that again, um, dry skin prevents water type moves from attacking the Pokemon, but it allows fire type moves to do even more damage to it than it does originally. And also, um, yeah, he's a bug grass type. <coughs> Which means he's quad weak to flying and fire. And with dry skin for the ability, that times four weakness becomes a times five. I am not kidding. I'm going to throw a Pokeball at this Paras straight away. Because they are known to be very easy to catch. <clears throat> There you go. Not messing around with that, Paras. And second Pokemon here looks like a shiny Growlithe, but honestly, it's not. It is another Shadow Pokemon. Growlithe is kind of a really good mixed attacker. It's also pretty fast. He does lack in defenses, unfortunately. I'm not sure if he carries the held item of the Charcoal, does it? Or am I thinking Numal? Hang on, did we actually encounter a Shadow Mewmore previously? Yeah, we did. Um, yeah, we encountered a Shadow Mewmore previously, and I bet that one was holding on to a Charcoal, so... Yeah. Hey, Dragonfly's leveled up again! Okay, now... Growlithe is not necessarily an easy Pokemon to catch. It can technically break out. But I'm going to see if I can snag this one at max health and then use a Shadow Ball in case it fails. But yeah, I honestly don't understand Growlithe's um, sprite in this game. He honestly does look like a shiny, but he's actually not. Because sh shiny Growlies are known to be that color. But a regular Growlithe is known to be a darker colour than that. Ow. Just when Cyclops was about to level up. Uh, let's use a Great Ball. And then we'll use a body slam just in case. No, oh, one shake on that one too. I guess I do actually have to hurt him. Uh, 
but I didn't get the power lines, unfortunately. Uh, right, God of War, I'm gonna switch you out because I think you've had enough screen time for the time being. And we use Body Slam again. There we go. Right, let's throw a great ball now. And carry on using Body Slam. There we go, got it that time. Speaking of which, I wonder how the um, Shadow Pokemon are doing in the um, Purify Chamber. If I find a nearby PC, I'm going to have to, like, have a look. Or I can just look at the PDA. Let's see, Shadow Monitor... Okay, Pinecone and Rosalie are ready to be purified. Uh, Meow sitting in the PC... Oh, they're all ready to be purified, alright. Oh wait, hang on, that's set 1, 3, 4, and 5. Which is... Oh yes, they are. Oh yeah, that Togepi, I was actually meaning to give it back to the guy to actually get an Ellie kit. I've been meaning to do that. Um, right, we'll save what's up that stairs till later. Right now, we're going to be purifying some Shadow Pokemon. Which will actually end off this video, believe it or not. I'm not going to end it right now, because I do indeed want to show um, the LA kit that you obtain. So, yeah. Let's go back to the Pokemon HQ lab and purify those Pokemon. Let's go. First off, Rhymer. Okay, so Grime is regaining the move Sludge Bomb, which is a very powerful poison move. And helping hands. If only I had this Grimer in my team. But I already selected my team. I have them. And yeah. Now for Togepi. Togepi's regain the move Follow Me, which is a useless move. And Try Attack, which is a really good move. We gained some XP, but it didn't actually regain a lot. No, I'm not going to give it a nickname. It's not originally our Pokemon. But, whoops. Uh, I did not mean to leave. I did not mean to leave. Okay, so that's Pineco purified. He's regaining the moves. Pin Missile. And Refresh. And now for Seal.
Regain the move Surf. And refresh. No nope, helping hand. Okay. And final Pokemon, Roselia. Okay, so we gain the move Magical Leaf. And sweet kiss. And that does it that just about does it for this episode, guys. Now, unfortunately we don't have enough time to trade off that Toga P for the Ellie Kid, but we will do it in the next episode, guys. See you guys then.